of the many items on our to-do list is the hearth for the wood stove. I wanted to do poured concrete and wanted to keep it as affordable as possible. I decided to use quickcrete, the same concrete you would use if you were setting uh, posts for a fence. It's about 450 a bag. I needed five bags for a 4x4 four four slab that was one and a half inches thick. The pros of this concrete is it's inexpensive and it's more than strong enough for a hearth like this. One of the cons is that the aggregate or the stones in it is quite large so it makes for a rough texture and it requires quite a bit of work to get it into kind of a smooth finish. As you can see we've been going for a while without it but for safety and for aesthetics it's time to pour the hearth. Typically, if you're making a countertop or something like that, you would pour the concrete upside down on a form so that you get a very smooth finish. I chose to pour it in place for two reasons. One is that it would be impossible for me to carry the slab from home all the way up to the cottage, or even to pour it in the cottage and then flip it over. And also, I wasn't looking for that kind of countertop smooth finish. So I chose to build forms in place, pour it, and then work the surface into the kind of smoothness I needed. After building the forms, I covered the floor in polyplastic so that the water from the concrete wouldn't be absorbed into the wood. This allows the concrete to stay hydrated and get a little bit stronger. We also used a dye, quite a bit of it, to get a darker finish than normal concrete. I chose to mix the concrete quite dry. That would make it stronger after it's set up. That meant working the surface quite a bit with a trowel and I also used a piece of wood to try to drive down the larger aggregates and bring up some of the smaller stuff to make a bit smoother surface. After pouring about an inch of concrete I added the wire reinforcement and then another inch and a half on top. The wire should keep the slab from cracking. Once the concrete was set up, I applied two coats of uh, color enhancer, which helps to darken the concrete a bit more, and two coats of concrete sealer. Of course, there are many, many ways that you can make the hearth for your wood stove. You can use tile, brick, or natural stone, and those would all look great. But this solution worked really well for us. It cost about $40, we were able to easily bring in the concrete and cast the thing in one day. And while the finish may be too rough for some people, I think it looks really great. If you like this project, please comment and hopefully we'll see you next time. Hey. <laughs>